check out these goats over my shoulder they're very curious always want to know what I'm up to all right welcome back to the channel I'm Hank Strange and today I'm gonna to do something a little different still me though if you watch my channel you know I'm into cameras so today I'm gonna to show you guys a camera that I've been using here on the channel specifically the Nikon key mission 360 which is as the name says a 360 degree camera so you've been seeing me do some videos on that called Hank 360 I know some people out there don't like it we're gonna jump into that today and I'm gonna show you because I had to buy another one because I lost the first one check out the goats Where you guys go? now you want to go huh you want to leave now they're bored they're just hanging out looking for something to do So I've got the 360 here and uh, just before before I show you guys this let's talk about why I have the key mission 360 I want to do 360 videos I think it's a thing that is uh, slowly coming into its own it's not a very popular thing right now and I know even on my channel people are complaining about it and they're asking me oh you know, why are you doing 360 don't do it you know what I'm into this kind of stuff, right? I'm a filmmaker, an artist. I like the creative process of what I do, and I think that 360 video is going to be a thing. Now, the Key Mission 360 is not the best camera out there. The best that I've seen so far, the best setup, is what GoPro has their 360 setup, but that's over six thousand dollars I mean six grand just for the cameras and the rig that those six cameras go into then it shoots in AK so you have to upgrade get a better computer all that kind of stuff in order to use that so no <laughs> until I uh, get up the funds to go with GoPro solution to this I'm not really gonna use that it's just way too expensive and I looked at some other things that were cheaper even than the key mission the key mission is somewhere between five and six hundred bucks by the time you get all set up and uh, I didn't like the cheaper things in the end I went with the key mission it's not perfect but it works for now for what I'm doing. I think that it's going to get a little bit better. And also, as other companies jump into the game, other than Nikon, so let's say when Sony and Canon and all those guys jump into this game, maybe we'll get some better cameras and we'll improve quality, etc. So let's open up the box here and uh, talk about that, and then we'll come back and talk about other things. So here's the box that comes when you buy the Key Mission 360. We paid $499.99 from Best Buy that's where we bought it and uh, this is basically what you get in the box we also bought this um, key mission extension arm this is kind of like a selfie stick or a monopod for uh, the key mission I'm not sure what the price is right now it's not really too expensive I'll run that in on the video but that that's a separate thing okay you can get a package that comes with this and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys that later but when I lost the camera I also lost the selfie stick because the two of them were attached to each other so let's just open this up see what comes in the box here I don't really do these unboxing videos too often so here you go the warranty program so Nikon has a warranty program very big instruction manual quick start guide it's in English French and Espanol to tell you how to use it um, and a bunch of other paperwork that comes along with it the sharing of um, this is a guide to how to put together your VR box because you can actually turn your phone into I guess I don't know what it's really called but it's one of those VR boxes that you can use to see the 360 video with so this is not virtual reality video it's 360 video and here it is that comes in the box so you assemble all of this put your phone in there and you can use that to look at your video I didn't really do any of that kind of stuff so we won't, we'll, we'll skip right past that um, there's a rubber sleeve for it, I guess, to uh, help you if you drop it, <laughs> keep it a little bit out of trouble. So we've got the rubber sleeve in there. Comes obviously with a battery, one battery. I did buy a, uh, another battery for it, and this is so that you can mount it on. Um, it's kind of like this is kind of like a GoPro mount, right? 
So let's take a look at that for a second. So you don't have to jump out there and buy a bunch of GoPro mounts, but if you, or GoPro style mounts for this when you buy it, they do come in the box. So this obviously would go through a strap if you want to put this on a helmet or on one of those wrist strap things. And then what would be different from this over the GoPro is that it's got kind of like a rectangular bottom on there. So this is designed for that. And it's got that little springy thing on it and this would thread into the key mission itself. So. And this is obviously, uh, if you remove this, you can stick it to stuff if you need to do that. And then there's an extra one in there. So there you go. Got that. And uh, this is your micro USB cable that you're going to use for connecting it to your computer, charging, etc. That comes in there. So now i got two of those because I didn't lose that last time around. And here is the wall charger that you plug that into. So it comes with that. I guess now I also have an extra one of those bad boys. <laughs> oh, the joys. And um, and then these are basically when you take a look at the camera, you'll see it's it's got two cameras on it, and so these are these are lenses. These are replacement lenses that come along with it in case you scratch up the lenses that you already have. You've got two replacement lenses. That's actually not a bad thing because if you drop it and stuff like that, that's what you're more likely to do, scratch it up. So they give you two in the box and you can buy these in the future if you scratch it up. So the final thing to come out of the box is the camera. Here we go. Gonna open it up. And it is very close to the size of a GoPro. So there we go. See, I'll bring that up close to the camera so you can take a look at it. Now, the side, it, like I said, it has two cameras. So here's one camera, here's the other camera. Okay, two cameras, and they're doing about a, they're shooting video at about 180 degrees on its side. So this is the back camera, and the way that you know that, because this side says Nikkor on it. If you see that right there, it says Nikkor. So that's the one that will be facing away from you, and there's Nikon that would be facing you or vice versa depending on how you want to shoot your video but basically wherever you see this Nikon when you're doing your 360 video it's shooting it at about 4k size and then showing a little window in the video so when you set it up this is naturally going to be the first point that people looking at your video are going to see whatever this is facing so if you want to control what people see right away and let's say you want them to see you then you would point, make sure that that big Nikon is pointing at you. If you want them to see what's away from you or opposite you, then you would turn it around this way and then the Nikkor would be facing you. And so this, this controls the window of what people are going to see. So there you go. That's what the camera looks like. Th these, you know, you can see here, you can remove the lenses. Here's your um, tripod mount and um, this is your on off for video button and over here is your your photo button so the way that this works is when you've got your battery in there and it's all set up you just press there and it starts recording video you press it again and it stops recording video if you want to take a picture you press this and then you it'll give a little countdown I think it's a few seconds that gives you a chance to pose and then it will take a picture of everything that's going on around you and so let's uh, open this up this is actually waterproof I um, I think it's about 10 meters but I'm not 100% sure so it's waterproof so this has actually two locks for you to unlock the case you need to open that one open this one boom there you go it opens up your battery goes in here your SD your micro SD card goes in there so check that out and then you have, there's your micro HDMI plug, so you can plug it into your TV or what have you. And here is your micro USB plug, so that you can um, charge up or connect it to your computer and all that kind of stuff. And you can see from the casing that this is a waterproof case. So there you are. You know what? Let's load in a battery and um, and then you know go through 
like a first little quick run through of how this works for anyone that's interested in getting one of these. So let's talk about the Key Mission 360 accessory pack, which is about 150 bucks. If you buy that, which I bought one before for the original one that I had, you get this bag and you also get a nice, nice little zipped up bag here and then a little mini tripod. So there you go, got that. And it comes with um, an extra battery, spare battery. Okay, and also comes with the extender arm. Okay, so that's what happens if you get it, or you can just buy the extender arm separately. I think that's about 60 bucks. I think this is about 150 bucks. So, just in case you're interested, um, it's probably not a bad direction to go to just spend the 150 bucks and get the extra battery, the, the, uh, the tripod, the bag, and the extending arm. So I, the second time around when I had to replace it since I lost this, I just bought this for 60 bucks since I already had the bag. So there is a place here where you can put a strap if you want to, and of course there's the reminder of the SnapBridge app. That's the app that you're going to need to control this camera. Um, I've got my, my complaints about that app, as do a lot of people, because it's not perfect. But it's what you got, so you got to deal with it. But you can, if you want to, put a strap here, and uh, I'm just going to take this out right now. There you go. You can strap something into it if you want to. All right, so battery. Here's our battery. That goes in. You can see the contact points in there, so you just want to match those two up. Put it in there, and that's how the battery goes in. And then the, um, the SD card, I believe that the contact goes towards the uh, Nikkor lens. So let's try that out here and see if I'm right about that. You can only push it in one way, so when you push it in with your nail or something, if it doesn't stay clicked down there, then you put it in the wrong way. So there you go. That's it. And then you want to close this down, push it down, and close one of these first. So let's see which one. So now you see that that came on because I pressed one of the buttons. And that's how you can tell it's working. There you go. And it's probably recording. If you want to shut it off, here's what you do. You hold it down and it shuts off. So as, as I said before, it does come with this rubber sleeve, which I guess gives you some kind of uh, shock prevention. <laughs> and you see it's got Nikon on the side there. So when you put it on, so here we go, here's this, the uh, 360. You just wanna peel this over and you wanna put the Nikon where it says Nikon on that side. So basically you would just, you know, squeeze this in here. And I turned it on one more again. Very easy to turn this on when you're just handling it. So right now I'm just gonna leave it on, get the, uh, get the rubber sleeve around it, let it run and record some video. There you go. So we've got that facing in the right direction and uh, it's got its kind of condom or sh little rubber shock thing on there, I guess. And shutting it off, hold it down. All right, so let's go to the selfie stick or key mission extension arm, as they call it. Let's open this up. Open up the box. See what's in there. Basically, styrofoam sleeve instructions for the usage of it. There you go. And the stick itself, so I'm gonna put that off there to the side. So this is what the uh, selfie stick looks like. And obviously the Key Mission 360 is gonna go on top here, and then you tighten it on, and you can angle it. And this has a um, quarter inch 
thread in there so you can thread this on to either a tripod or the the little the little small tripod that we have in there you can thread it on or a big tripod whatever you want you can hold it like that in your hand and then how you extend it is right here you turn you twist this and pull it out goes up pull it again goes up let's see this is all the way all the way extended I don't know how I can get this so it's pretty long all right I don't know what that is I'm gonna say um, I don't know it's probably like uh, two and a half feet or something I don't know we'll, we'll measure it or whatever so and then you just twist it and shut it back down like that there you go good to go on that so here we're gonna put it on now and it really all depends how you want to do it. You can you can set this up however you want. Um, I will set it up like this, where it's uh, facing. This is the back side of it, so I'll just thread it on like that down here in the base, nice and tight. Okay, there you go. And I'm gonna put this straight up. So there it goes. Let's move this out here, give ourselves a little bit more room. Alright, so this is basically how I use it. I walk around with it like this, and there is a wrist strap there, so I, I strap it around my wrist and I walk around with it in my hands like this. You know what? I am not going to go through the whole thing of connecting to this because it is a complete pain in the ass, but in my description I'll put a link of how to do all of this because you have to connect your Bluetooth then you have to connect the Wi-Fi but see there there you go the cameras connected and see I'm pointing it back at me so on my phone here let me see I'm trying to not get the glare so on my phone you see it pointing at me right and then if I turn it around it's pointing at the cottage over there okay but if uh, Lola will come in here and hold this to me, I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So now I've got it turned around and it's pointing at, you, you can see the cottage, but if you go into the app here, you'll see that I can actually turn this around 360 degrees till I see myself. See myself again. There you go. <laughs> so that's like the basic setup of this thing. You can control it from your phone. You can hit record. You know, you can do all those cool kinds of things from your phone. I'm not going to get super deep into it right now and also the battery is going to die if you can see up there the battery is like turned red so it's less than uh, 30 percent it's probably like 20 percent at this point but that is a rough setup of how you get this going what comes in the box and uh, you know I will put a, uh, a link to someone who has a really good video on out there if you're having problems getting connected to the Nikon Key Mission 360 of how to do it but you can get it set up you can connect it to your phone and there are accessories for it and uh, real quickly here I will go over let me see if I can just bring up the other stuff that I have here so I bought this bag and let's see if we can just pop out here a little bit so you guys can see. So I bought this um, I bought this camera bag and I use this camera bag for it because let me see what's the name of this camera bag. It's the Slingshot Edge for anyone who's interested. It is the 250 AW bought it. It's from Low Pro. Bought it at Best Buy, and um, here's why I like it because it's got these different compartments. So here's a, one compartment you can open and you can store stuff in. I could actually use this to store many different cameras in here. So I'm going to put the other camera that I'm using right now to shoot this in there. And then you see this, this part of it, I can put in my Nikon 360 like that. Put it in there and zip it up. You know, you can put a tripod on it and secure that down like this and so you can have that with you and you can have another camera if you're always doing videos like I am you can be able to do that and it's a sling you can throw it over and use it so and then there's some other accessories that you might want to use like I've got this crazy contraption that I don't have any clue of what it's called to be able to tell you oh there we go it's from ProMaster 
and what this does is it allows me to you can you can mount your camera up here and you can put this in lots of different positions clamp it on all that kind of stuff I'll have to look it up and see what it's called because I don't retain that kind of information in my brain but that's something that you can use with this camera and other cameras a tripod would be handy one of the, the the best things I found for it is the selfie stick because you could just open it up like that extend it out and then if you want it to face back at you you can flip it like this and face it back you know and if you want to put it on a tripod because you're taking pictures you can just uh, close it down and then thread it onto a tripod that way if you have one or it's really easy since it's a flat base to just have it stand up on something like that all right so there you go the Nikon key mission 360 I had to replace it because I had one I lost it and really what happened was we went to SHOT Show Lola and I a few weeks ago and I was in the Kalishnikov booth I believe and I was kind of distracted by a booth model in there and I put it down and then forgot about it for a minute and then when I remembered it and I went to look for it it wasn't there anymore so you know we went around and looked for it and reported it to the uh, lost and found in the convention center and all that kind of stuff but never got it back and so we replaced it now I said this before this is not the best 360 setup that's out there I think definitely what I've seen from the GoPro 360 setup that's a lot better but but too expensive I've seen it and played around with it but I've never actually owned it and used it to produce a video I think it costs about six grand to get the um, to get the rig to put those six cameras in and to get six cameras at the same time maybe if you already have GoPro cameras it will be cheaper but you have to have six of the same cameras and then they're all connected to each other and then it winds up shooting an 8k image so you're gonna need a more powerful computer and everything to edit that the beauty with 360 cameras like this is that they're one cheaper this was 500 bucks and it has two cameras and they are shooting 180 degrees on each side and then stitching it together and this in the case of this it's making a 4k image so is it perfect absolutely no it's far away from perfect there's a few things out there that I would like I would like the image to be better maybe if it was this is about the size of a GoPro so maybe if it was twice this size or three times this size they can get a better chip in there get a better video image quality you can also not input audio so it has a microphone and that's the best you have you can there's a, a wind noise setting that you can turn on but that's about it so I get people complaining about the image and the audio on this and other than that there's people who are just not used to the to how you do 360 so when I post a video on YouTube also Facebook you can you can post the stuff you can also post photos on Facebook as well when you post something in there the person can move their cursor around and, mo and move it within the image or within the video or if they're looking at it on their mobile phone they can actually physically turn around and look at the different things that are going up and down and stuff like that and not everyone's used to that not everyone likes it I know that I get it um, that's just the way that it is so for Lola and myself when we talked about this I could either just wait until these cameras are awesome and and amazing and affordable and then jump into it and start doing stuff or I can just get into it now when there's something like this that comes into the realm of being affordable however as I said far from perfect so I will come back and do some more videos with this if you guys are interested in it to show you exactly how I do the videos and I know some people ask me how I do the tiny planet thing there's lots of videos on that out there okay and as I said, if you want to know how to connect your phone to this because it's such a pain in the ass, I will do a link to a video that I found that will tell you about that. I, um, I'm a gun guy, so I have no connection to anyone, any company in the camera world, including Nikon. Don't know them. They probably, because I'm a gun guy, would rather not even have me making videos and things like that with this. But I do think it's fun, and I think there are people out there that enjoy it, and it's the future so you got to get used to it and like I tell people on my channel that don't like the videos I clearly mark all the videos that I do that are 360 so if you don't like those and you don't want to watch them you are absolutely welcome to watch them but if you do I appreciate your support so Lola said I said you're welcome to watch when I meant to say you're welcome not to watch you are welcome to watch 
you're also welcome to not watch. But I would prefer if you watched. You would be more welcome if you watched than you would be welcome not to watch. Okay? All right, so there you go. That's all I got to say about this one. From myself, Lola Strange, I'd like to thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'd like to remind you to like, share, subscribe. And if you want to help us out maybe to get a better camera, we are on Patreon. So you can go look on Patreon slash Hank Strange. I'm on there. You can give some money to the cause. And uh, I, I would definitely appreciate that. Okay? Peace out.